supercomputer Fugaku has been jointly developed by Niken and Fujitsu. Fugaku was immediately challenged with COVID-19, assisting researchers to find potential remedies. As speed is key in combating infectious disease, the focus is how to deliver effective drugs as soon as possible. The world-leading calculation capability of Fugaku is pulling future medicine within our reach. That high performance level has been realized thanks to Fujitsu's more than 80 years of expertise in manufacturing technologies. In June 2020, it was the world's first four crown winner. Persistent efforts made it possible. It's difficult, but Fujitsu can do it. With Fugaku, we are devoting all our efforts and energy to solving societal challenges throughout the world. Fugaku has the power to pull the future closer, and its ability has been recognized as top in the world. But how was this ability achieved? Let's take a look at the path that has led to Fugaku. The development history of Fujitsu supercomputers is on display at the Ikeda Memorial Room in Fujitsu's Numazu complex in Shizuoka Prefecture. It introduces the achievements of Toshio Ikeda, who is dedicated to encouraging domestic computer production. Fujitsu's more than 80 years of expertise in manufacturing technologies was an essential element in the birth of Fugaku. Fugaku was produced at Fujitsu IT Products Limited, located in Kahoku City, Ishikawa Prefecture. Fugaku consists of nearly 160,000 CPUs. The enormous system was manufactured on this line to complete the supercomputer. Being the world's number one is a one and only achievement. Fujitsu's unparalleled expertise in manufacturing technologies is certainly alive here. Masaru Kase is a member of the team responsible for developing hardware such as the Fugaku CPUs. If we do it, we'll go for the top. That was my aim. My determination to succeed was my strongest motivator. Let's hear from two more people. Hideki Miwa was in charge of conducting Fugaku's performance evaluation. I felt it would be a good opportunity to have a very special experience. So I was determined to give it my all. And Makoto Shinohara worked on the system software for Fugaku. But what is system software to start with? If an application just works indiscriminately, it will exert performance that differs from what was originally intended. So the system software provides an operating environment where application software takes advantage of optimal hardware capability. In Japanese, the name Fugaku is another name for Mount Fuji, the shape of which includes both the mountain summit, which suggests highest performance, and the mountain's broad base, which points to the computer's wide range of application. So what were the keys to reaching the summit? The main key is the A64FX CPU, which provides the brains of the computer. Thanks to the use of cutting-edge semiconductor technology, each CPU has as many as 52 cores integrated. In addition, the latest high-performance stacked memory with multiple memory chips is installed inside the package for the first time in a general-purpose CPU. In this way, Fugaku uses cutting-edge semiconductor technology to realize high performance and energy savings. But using cutting-edge technology made the challenge riskier, so development was far from easy. We didn't know if we could make it, for sure, but worked with the assumption we'd be successful. It's not easy to correct hardware once it's made, so that means you can't afford to fail. That causes a lot of stress. 
The second key to reaching the summit of the mountain was... We made some improvements to the Tofu Interconnect, a high-speed network that was used in the K computer to raise its functionality, and introduced it to Fugaku. That's why Fugaku can exchange data at such a high speed, utilizing many computers simultaneously in coordinated operation. Actually, achieving coordinated operation is far from easy. Even running a simple three-legged race is difficult, but it gets harder as the number of legs increases, like a school children's 31-legged race. In the case of Fugaku, we have to operate more than 100,000 at once. If one of them stumbled, they would all fall. It was Tofu Interconnect D that solved that problem. If the CPUs are connected in a simple horizontal structure, when there are tens of thousands of units, you may get confused where they are. In fact, the structure is six-dimensional, with multi-dimensional connections like lengthwise, crosswise, depthwise, and even diagonally. So the work is divided and conducted in parallel. It carries this out on a very large scale. That's the major factor in increasing speed. And that's why we could reach the summit. The other nuance included in Fugaku's name is a broad base of use, like the broadly spread foot of Mount Fuji. While the height of the summit can be decided by scale, the broad base is defined by applications. Fugaku employs an instruction set developed by Arm Limited. So, it will be possible to use the software stack developed for smartphones and embedded systems in the HPC field. Many programs, including those for smartphones, operate with the instruction set developed by Arm Limited. Fujitsu used this instruction set as a means to broaden the use of Fugaku. Various types of generic, open-source software are available and in wide use. We thought it would be good to utilize them by incorporating them into the parallel computing world. It's true that producing purpose-built hardware and software can elicit high performance more easily than without it. However, the Fugaku project had the objective of allowing various applications to be operated by one system to get the best performance out of them all. We knew from the start that there were certainly going to be conflicting elements and that the work would be very tough. Reaching the summit of the mountain and broad base use, the real ability of Fugaku was quickly tested by a major challenge the outbreak of the novel coronavirus pandemic that occurred in the spring of 2020. Fugaku confronted this serious crisis without the benefit of a proper preparation period before scheduled full operation. One of the researchers involved was Professor Yasushi Okuno of Kyoto University, a prominent figure in drug discovery research using supercomputers. Developing a drug generally takes more than 10 years, but we couldn't possibly wait that long to deal with an infectious disease like this one. If a supercomputer could work out an answer with high precision extremely fast, it might be possible to reduce the time needed considerably. The main point is how to reduce drug delivery time. With drug discovery research, it's essential to study the structures of the proteins that cause diseases and search for chemicals that perfectly fit them. The computers available before the K computer could only search within the world of still images. Even with the competency of K, drug candidate chemicals were basically embedded in the state of a still image, which was then animated. Fugaku has changed everything. It's made it possible to check dynamically if multiple drug candidate components can actually fit in or not. We admired K-Computer for working so hard, but after all, it was just dots from the Fugaku scale viewpoint. 
Fugak is amazing. We get the impression it's really alive. Professor Okuno has witnessed Fugaku's broad base appeal and ease of use. People tend to feel that the threshold of supercomputers is too high, that they're not really designed for ordinary people to use. But Fugaku places great importance on general purpose versatility. So in that sense, it's very revolutionary. We've often heard the feedback, it's so fast. But until now, we rarely heard anyone say a supercomputer was easy or simple to use. We're very grateful to hear comments like that now. In a way, I have a feeling this may be a new strategy for supercomputers. Fugaku displayed more of its advanced abilities, presenting results to the world during the emergency response to the novel coronavirus. Here, we see the result of Fugaku's simulation of droplet transmission conducted by the Niken research team. Various countermeasures to prevent the spread of droplets were analyzed and evaluated. Searching for answers to complex problems that have no obvious solution and leading us to a new world. A supercomputer is a tool to pull the future closer. It has the merit of being able to use computer simulation now, to a certain extent, to see what will be clear tomorrow. In short, you can get an answer now. Medicine is not the only field in which Fugaku can pull the future closer. Expectations are endless and include use in disaster prevention, energy, solving environmental problems, strengthening industrial competitiveness, contributions to basic science, and in realizing health and longevity in society. Fugaku was recognized as number one in four categories in the World Supercomputer Performance Rankings winning four crowns at one time has never been achieved before. However, the project wasn't launched with the aim of winning the world's number one place. Its purpose was to elicit the accurate performance of users' applications, thus creating the world's most advanced results to tackle current societal challenges. So, achieving the four crowns was not a goal, but a milestone. We are always being asked to make computers faster and faster, because there are still so many things to calculate. It means there's no ceiling to this field. Fugaku was manufactured in Kahoku City in Ishikawa Prefecture, and the first unit was shipped in December 2019. And we've started marketing the Prime HPC FX1000 and FX700 supercomputers that utilize Fugaku technology. The FX1000 is a large computer filled with Fugaku technology. The FX700 is a model which can easily deploy Fugaku technology. As Fugaku demonstrates its high performance and achieves research results, Fujitsu is cooperating with its global business partners to expand supercomputer business worldwide. Our objective is to bring trust to society through innovations in order to improve global sustainability. We will continue working to realize this purpose in all of our corporate activities. Fugaku is expected to provide a speedy outcome in these four categories. Each of them will surely help to pull our precious future closer. 
Supercomputing is important both as IT, in which we build the machine, and in terms of applications where we apply the machine to solve society's hardest problems. We will continue to do so as a research laboratory. Fugaku has started operating with its world-leading computational performance. Its great power has enabled us to stand on the front line for shaping the future.